Hey, Lita. Looks like the new investigator box for Edge of the Earth has arrived. Right, turn the camera on and start filming. What are you talking about? We need to write the script, take some pictures, go on location, edit it together, dunk it in water, and check all the rules questions with FFG for 100% accuracy. No one cares about all that nonsense. It's all about being first. What? That's crazy. People value a high quality video full of accurate information. Okay, Boomer. Hey, you're at least 10 years older than me. Just do it all in one take and hit upload. And mention VPNs and raid Shadow Legends. What? Why? No idea, but that's what all the real YouTubers do. Well, if you're sure. And you need to film it all vertical, so turn the camera around. Oh no, that's where I draw the line. You can be replaced, you know. Hello and welcome to the first and hopefully last live unboxing from the Arkham Chronicle. The seventh cycle has been split up into two larger boxes as opposed to the regular compact deluxe and six mythos packs. First to be released is this investigator expansion which contains all the player cards you would find in a whole cycle. There is a QR code on the rear which we suspect probably isn't going to work as they haven't functioned in a while. How long do you think we should wait for this thing to do anything? Well, that's probably enough. This box has the same footprint as the previous deluxe expansions. Obviously it is noticeably thinner, however. We have been comparing it to the premium expansion boxes for the Legend of the Five Rings card game. However, whereas these are sturdy cardboard boxes designed to be reused with the same strength as a core box, unfortunately the Investigator expansion comes in the same flimsy cardboard as a regular deluxe box. We are hoping the campaign expansion comes with a rigid box and an insert, but in today's money saving climate, who knows? Our copy arrived shrink wrapped and unlike the previous boxes, there is only really one way in and that is through the top here. As you can see, it is definitely the same flimsy cardboard with a non-functional insert, both of which are designed to be disposed of. In the top, you have a hefty pack of cards and a complimentary Ziploc bag. Removing the insert underneath, we can see a second complimentary Ziploc bag and the tiniest of rule sheets. Let's take a closer look. There is a quote from Lovecraft's Mountains of Madness and a reminder you can mix these new cards and investigators with any other product. The expansion symbol is the scariest snowflake we have ever seen and the additional rules let you know that multi-class cards have returned with a vengeance. This time the rules are much clearer. Next we have the researched keyword. Remember those upgradable seeker cards that began with Strange Solution back in the Dunwich Legacy? Well, despite you managing just fine for six whole cycles, they have decided they need an official keyword. Oi! Stop using cutaways! This is supposed to be a live unboxing! And you haven't mentioned Raid Shadow Legends once! Like and subscribe! Like and subscribe! Anyway, there is a small VPN, I mean FAQ, that reminds you neutral is not a class, despite having an investigator. There are some credits, so don't forget to say hello to Brian Schomburg, as we told you who he is. And on the back, Gasp Shock Horror is an advert for a game line that has officially concluded. Guess they have some copies in the warehouse they need to shift. There are the typical five investigators, each of which has a pair of signature cards, apart from Lily who has eight, and four of those are double-sided. All of which have been fully explained in our investigator preview video, so please check that out and smash the like button and share the videos on your socials. Good boy! Moving on to the player cards, the first thing you notice are the huge dollop of gold multi-class cards. 41, two copies each to be exact. There are zero level and experienced, a mix of assets and events and even allies but sadly no skills. There are even some tri-class cards. There are five neutral cards that range from one to four copies. And four new basic weaknesses which are the most innovative we have seen in a while. Stop using cutaways! VPN rate Channel Legends! Like and subscribe! That leaves about 115 new class cards, roughly 23 per faction, most of which come in pairs apart from these single copy permanents and some exceptional cards. The shocking thing is most of these cards, even the gold and neutral cards, are experienced cards. 
with barely two or three from each class being level zero. So if you wanted this to be the equivalent of five starter decks in a box ready to play a campaign with, you will be disappointed. That's it for the unboxing. Obviously, there will be a longer video in the works. Let us know if this new style of video was at all helpful, and tell us in the comments below if it is better to be early or better to be thorough. Like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, wear a vest, get a VPN, blow your nose, rage to the legends, peace out. And shove off.